because the South Africa's infrastructural development agenda to boost the country's economy and create employment opportunities is adversely affected thanks to the global pandemic. Well, program coordinators are worried of the situation as it has impeded the implementation of projects on different sectors. As circumstances predicts, the government needs to define new measures to help accomplish its development programs. Here's more details of that in this report. The aim is to develop an infrastructure-led growth recovery plan that will stimulate economic activity and job creation. But the COVID-19 pandemic has changed the investment landscape, and that's occupying the minds of program organizers and advisors. What we've seen as a consequence of COVID-19 has been a very parochial, inward-looking, introspective uh, approach by most countries. Uh, and I personally am skeptical that we're going to see the same level of cross-border capital flowing as we have done historically in a more stable global economic and political environment. The development of the renewable energy sector is a prime example of what can be achieved. We should do nothing to undermine that track record. In fact, we should be taking it and we should be applying it to many other uh, infrastructure uh, projects, whether it's road, whether it's rail, whether it's ports, uh, whether it's telecommunications, whether it's water. But there are uncertainties around the regulatory environment which have been a hurdle to getting capital commitments. We can't have uncertainties as to the sanctity of contract. Uh, we need to ensure that we've got uh, absolutely reliable cast iron uh, terms and conditions, as I've said, and appropriate uh, levels of return, uh, which reflect the risk uh, that is being borne by the various parties associated with the project. If we don't address uh, what have been very significant constraints in terms of regulation uh, uh, or uh, we ensure that there are appropriate levels of return, terms and conditions that are available to investors. And by investors, I include lenders, any providers of capital. And then we're not going to mobilize the capital that's required. And some of those issues have been outstanding for a long time. For South Africa to get those investors involved in those bankable projects, it's going to have to do things slightly differently. It's not as though government is not aware of this. The issue is getting internal alignment, not only across government, but also in particular within state-owned uh, organizations that are critical counterparties to such projects. And unless and until we do that, uh, we're not going to be able to achieve our potential in terms of not only the projects, uh, but the speed within which they are implemented. 